So in this week's episode of Servant, we get a different perspective of Leanne's point of view and get her day-to-day routine. We get some noisy little insects in the house, and we're going to talk about that ending and what it can potentially mean for the rest of the season. And we're going to talk about that and much more. Episode 5 of Servant was titled Cricket. With Dorothy and Sean gone for the day, Leanne makes a new friend. What's going on, everybody? Elliot back again with my weekly recap of the latest episode of Apple TV Plus show, Servant. We're talking about episode five today, and we got a pretty interesting stuff in this episode. I'm very excited to share my thoughts with you all on this spoiler discussion video here. But before we dive into this review, definitely consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. And make sure you're hitting that bell so you can stay up to date with all my latest Apple TV Plus reviews and all the fun videos we do on this very channel. And if and when you've seen this episode of Servant, I want to know what you all thought of it. Let me know your theories of what you're thinking about Leanne, the crickets, uh, her friend Wanda. Will we see them back again in future episodes? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And also for all my movie fans out there one more day to the end of my contest for it chapter two and once upon a time in hollywood so stick around to the end of this video so you can find out how you can win these movies so let's jump into cricket so the episode was really unique because most of this uh season has been either focused mostly on sean but every now and then we get some stuff with dorothy but we really haven't gotten what does Leanne do? And when she's not being, you know, uh, spied on by Sean or having things being told to do by Dorothy, what does she do in her day-to-day life uh, or her routine with Jericho? And we got that in this episode. And I really enjoyed it because it was a different change of pace, right? And I actually felt a little bit sympathetic for Leanne. I've been saying that even last week. Like, like I feel like Sean's been so mean to her. And this week really kind of maybe nudged her, her being more of maybe she's the good guy in the show. Let's break it down here. So we start off the episode. So with Leanne, you know, payday, right? Today, uh, you know, uh, people getting paid is always a good thing. So we see her finally getting paid there. Uh, But then we also see that Dorothy, you know, as she's getting paid, you know, Dorothy and Sean are going on this little trip or whatnot. And we found out in this episode that Sean's going to be gone throughout the day and this week to go to different restaurants, things like that. But, you know, she goes to Dorothy's room and Dorothy seems to be in that trance again that we saw her in on was episode one or two when she was looking in the refrigerator with the cake. She was kind of in that mindset and Dorothy or Leanne kind of snaps her out of it and they have this little conversation Dorothy says hey do you notice Sean being a little weird and I'm like yeah I know he's being fucking weird he's been weird this whole season you know splinters and being mean and stuff like that but you know she was just saying he was being weird by being nice and um she, you know she asked Leanne that <laughs> and Leanne's response was you know no Dorothy I don't think Sean is cheating on you or having an affair with you and <laughs> Dorothy was like, what? Who said anything about an affair? I thought that was kind of funny. But, you know, that was a very uh, little interesting moment there because, again, it's just showing you kind of the psyche of what, how Leanne interprets things and how she might s- take a certain question and kind of look at it more depthly or different. A very interesting conversation. So from there, we see Leanne taking Jericho out for the walk. She notices that private uh, investigator that Julian and Sean hired looking at her. Obviously, she doesn't know who he is, but, you know, she notices that he is looking at her. Um, We see that, you know, we get uh, Toby, who's over prepping food while Sean's out doing the whole restaurant thing in the middle of the day, but he's dropping off some crickets and prepping uh, the food for that. We meet some new characters this week. We get uh, Wanda and Olivia. You know, Wanda tells uh, Leanne that she watches Olivia <clears throat> up the street, and, you know, she seems a little nice, and, you know, and a little suspicious about Leanne in this house, but we kind of see them having a conversation and she invites, you know, Leanne invites them in the house. And we see uh, we see her new friend, Wanda, taking pictures around the house and asking how much the house is. And we'll talk about that a little bit later because it makes sense now. So we see that happen. And <laughs> um, we see Olivia gets a call from her boyfriend that he's going to get deported. I wonder who came up with those lines, Julian. Uh, we see that there. And she watches Olivia. I assume, again, again, we're going to talk about it. But it, it makes sense now why she left Olivia there and why she had to go off and why she was asking those questions some very interesting questions which we'll talk about uh but you know we see all that there and you know um you know they play a game of hide and seek but then we see um you know Dorothy or the little girl Olivia runs in the house and then we see um Leanne looking for her. she goes in the cellar and finds these this baby outfit this baby uh, uh clothing and you know she hears someone running upstairs and she asks the little girl Olivia who was that and he said oh some man just walked in and ran out 
I assume that had to do with Julian as well because we all find out that that is the private investigator. So on as we kind of uh, skim through the rest of this uh, summary here, Leanne goes shopping again and we see that she's continuing to eat soup. Soup is like her main dish, her favorite food. I don't know what the significance of, of soup is. Is it a religious thing? Is it something that keeps her alive, keeps her ritual going? Let me know you guys' thoughts on this whole soup thing. Uh, Dorothy has Leanne go out of the house for 40 minutes to take care of some things. Uh, we see Dorothy comes back with the cake and she hears her and Sean, you know, uh, assuming they're having sex. And that kind of upset Leanne because she goes back in her room and puts a little Bible. She she reads her Bible and she puts Dorothy names by a certain verse. If you guys caught that, I tried to pause it to see what chapter it was and what the scripture or the verse actually said. But if you guys have a more of an eagle eye, let me know what that verse said and if it uh, pertains to what's going on in the show. So we see she does that and she prays. Uh, Leanne gets a visit from her new friend Wanda and or she goes to go visit Wanda and then she finds out that they don't live there so she was like oh whoa what is all that about so Leanne goes back to the house notices that the door is open the alarm's been turned off and, the, and we see their private guest investigator is snooping on her and I don't know we'll see how that continues to play out him coming in and out of the house and if Leanne might you know be ready next time he comes in the house and maybe something happens to him we'll see about that we see Sean and Leanne we see Sean is very upset by Leanne because she sees that he sees that she had put that baby outfit that she found in the cellar, assuming that that was Jericho's baby outfit, and he obviously, we know how Sean is about the baby, his real baby and everything, so he kind of gets upset, takes it off for her, and immediately uh, kind of gets upset with her. Leanne hears Julian and Sean talking about uh, getting her out of the house by having these pranks done to her, and maybe shutting off the heat and all that different stuff, and then we also see in that same scene, you know, later on we see that now Sean's name is in the Bible under a certain verse, and it's very interesting there. Again, let me know if you all saw that verse from Sean and seeing her praying. Let me know what you guys are thinking about that. So Leanne wakes up in the next morning, has a bunch of crickets on her and in her room. I don't know if that's part of the pranks or part of the stuff we're going to talk about at the end of this review here. We see um, Sean has now, or maybe Julian has replaced her soup with dog food. Very cruel. Because again, this is what I'm really starting to feel for, uh, you know, Leanne at this point. I'm just like, they feeding her dog food. They're, you know, treating her, sending her out for 40 minutes to get cake and they just want to have sex. It's just like, you guys, you're being so rude to this girl. I'm starting to be on Leanne's side now, but we see Wanda comes over again, offers her a new job, and we see Leanne kind of walk over to the window and kind of have a little bit of a breakdown. She's saying, if you guys wanted me out of the house, you should have just told me, you know, the baby doesn't like me in the house, and she, uh, we see the little girls eating some food, Olivia, and she's having an um, allergy attack, so <laughs> you know, the girl, um, uh, Wanda's like, hey, help us. And, and Le Leanne's like, well, who sent you? Who told you to be befriend me? And that's when we find out that Julian has done set all this up. Uh, you know, he hired her to ask her questions, which again goes back to her taking pictures, leaving a little girl there to see maybe if she's a, a weird babysitter or nanny and kind of catch her up to find a way to maybe get her fired. But she passed the test, but we find out that Julian was behind all that, uh, which was very interesting. But it was that damn uh, lobster ice cream that had her uh, freak out out there that's disgusting uh, uh lobster ice cream is very disgusting but we see sean injects some sugar in the crickets and have Leanne test it. And Sean says the nicest thing he said to her this season, which is, I appreciate you. You know, I couldn't do this without you. Uh, and a very, and now as we wrap up the episode, this is where I really want to get you guys' comments. So we see Leanne goes upstairs. She takes off her top. And as she does that, you notice that the cricket in, that she keeps was dead. But then she starts beating herself. And as the camera pans out, the cricket is now alive. So now I want to know you guys' theories. Does Leanne have some kind of ritual thing going on or is she the good person that's keeping or maybe has brought this baby back to life by uh, inflicting pain on herself or Sean or Dorothy because Dorothy had the little herpy things going on? I don't know. Let me know you guys' thoughts on what you think Leanne is doing and is she some type of thing where if she abuses herself or hurts others, it brings things back to life? I don't know if I'm on to something. Let me know you guys' comments below. Again, also, like I said, we find out that, like I said, now Dorothy He's having these warts. We, show, we see Sean is continuing to get in those splinters. But again, one of the things I really enjoyed about this episode was the different point of view that we're now in the eyes and in the day and in the life of Leanne and how she kind of handles things and this 
things of that nature. But the biggest reveal for me in this episode was definitely, like I said, as I mentioned, the end with that cricket being dead and she, you know, punishes herself, whips herself and is back alive. So let me know your comments below. Again, she mentioned to Sean that her auntie told her that whenever crickets enter the house, there's bad things coming. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Like I said up top, we got a giveaway that's going to be ending pretty soon for It Chapter 2, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Click that video in the link above my head so you can see how you can win those codes. Again, like, share, comment below your thoughts on this episode and what you're hoping to see in next week's episode. Subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell so you can stay up to date with my latest movie reviews, TV reviews, giveaways, and everything we do on this channel. Thank you all for watching this review. We've got some more reviews coming this weekend. Watchmen, the finale is coming pretty soon, so keep an eye out for that review. But thank you all for watching this. Subscribe, comment, like, share. Follow me on my social media accounts. Again, thank you for watching this review, and we'll see you in the next video.